Hey, hey, everybody, this is Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today we're going to talk about mid-roll call to actions. So a call to action or a mid-roll call to action is basically saying when you're doing your call to action, mid-roll or midway through your live stream or recorded video or anywhere in there, right? It's called a mid-roll for middle or somewhere between the beginning and end. Now, what you want to do with it is give your audience something to do. Have them sign up. Have them look at something. Have them buy something. It is a literal call to action. Now, I showed you how to do call to action graphics before, but those are static. You can just show them on the screen. They go away. But a um, an animated or a moving call to action can gather more attention. So I'm going to show you how to make one of those today very quickly in Canva, and then we'll see it in action. Let's go. All right. So the first thing we're going to do here with the presentation before we do anything, let's make the background of this slide black. Because in Restream, when we use videos and they play through, we get a quick fade to black on our video before the other video that we add plays. So I want to start with the black here. So it seems kind of seamless. It'll fade to black. Then our animation will, will operate. So now we're going to go to elements. I'm just going to pick a basic square and we're going to draw three bars. One bar, we'll just copy and paste two more bars. So let's do a wide bar, a skinny bar somewhat, and then a really wide bar. So the first ball, we're going to make it a gray color. And the far left ball will make white. And this middle ball, we want it to match our brand colors. So first, let me go here to my Restream folder and grab our Restream logo. So I'll place that for now. And now I'll click here and go to color. And our Restream color is an option. So now we match up. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to go back to the Restream logo, make it a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to add my text. Add a heading. Okay, and we're going to say sign up today for our special deal. And we're going to do some fancy stuff with this text. Let's bold the first one, the first line, and we're going to size that up. And then we'll make the second line even with it just by sizing it up. Let's put those a little bit closer together. I'm going to go here to alignment and squeeze them down a little bit like that. So now we have our text, we have our logo, and we have all the elements for our mid-roll call to action. So now, you know what? No, I'm going to put a little stripe around this. So let's go to edit image. Add shadow, click it again. We don't want any blur on it, no transparency, and kick the size up like that. Now it stands off that gray. So now let's click all three bars and we're going to go to animate and we're going to say baseline. And you see the animation roll. You like how that goes. And let's click the logo. Let's pick tumble. Then finally, we're going to go to our text and let it have some kind of special look. Let's go neon. So there we are with all of our elements animated. Now I animated them in the order that I wanted them to play. I'm not sure if Canva, if that really affects Canva or not. That's just the way I do it. And everything looks good. We can now see when we click off of everything that this will also last five seconds. Now, if you have a lot of text, or you really want to bring attention to it, you can kick this up a little bit. So I'll make all seven seconds. And I really want to adjust these a little bit, center them in that space a little more. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to export it. So let's download. And we're going to download as a MP4 video and go to download. Okay, let's go to Restream Studio and see how this looks. Okay, so here we are back in Restream Studio. We're going to add this video to the videos section. And then when we get ready to roll our mid-roll call to action, we just show it just like this.
Okay, so there is our call to action. Now, one thing that you need to remember is when you play video overlays in Restream Studio, it will mute your main mic. So you need to know that you cannot talk over it while it's playing. So you don't want to have it going too long because you don't want a long silence, but you don't want it too short where people can't read the call to action or it actually catches their attention. So pick a right time, know that you're muted, and let the call to action work for you. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.